Did you know? We have published an eTabs course with a complete 20-story building design. The course will include complete guide to eTabs, from basics to advanced level with a completion certificate. Check link in description of this video. In this video, we will learn the design of base plate of the steel pole we designed in the part 1 of this lecture. So we have already designed the steel pole. Now we will be designing the base plate which will be fixed base plate of course and the steel grade is A992. The base plate is also known as biaxial column base plate connection because it will be taking moments or resisting moments in both the directions as it's a cantilever action. So we need the resistance of the moment in both the directions that is X and Y. So let's go to RAM connections. I have to, I have to select CB that is column base and section is HSS round. The section in ETABS is 20 inches by 0.5 inches thickness. So I'll be selecting it. As we have already discussed in detail the design of the pole in part one of the video. You can check link in the description for the design of the pole. But in this video, we will be sticking to the design of the connection that is the biaxial base plate of the pole. So I have selected the material as A992 that is grade 50 steel. Now let's edit the loads. I will be adding the live load as the pole was designed for live load and the self fit only as the wind load was considered to be part of live load. I will be taking these values from the SAP 2000. The analysis was performed in the part 1 of this lecture in SAP 2000 playlist. Let's go to the live load. Starting with dead load. So we are having a minus that is compressive force of 3.8 kips in the dead load. This is due to the self fit of the structure or the pole. Make sure the units are selected in kip feet. We will be seeing the moment value. And similarly the units are set to kip fit in the ram connection as well. Similarly for the shear force, shear 2-2, they are having a force of 20 kips. Moment 3-3 three, three due to dead load, we are getting none. Moment 3 due to live load is 400 kip fit. You can see the unit selected here is in kip fit as well. So I can enter the value 400 simply. And similarly M22 we are getting a no value. And click on OK.
we have to generate the combinations for LRFD let's click on generate you can select any code you are using over here since I am using American code so I'll be selecting using AISC provisions so let's assign the base plate as smart fixed by actual base plate as we are designing the base plate for the by actual loads so let's go to edit and edit the connection details right now the stress ratio is in red color and is 1.3 which is greater than 1 so we need to adjust the parameters so that the color turns to green and the number of the stress ratio is less than 1 right now it is 1.3 minimum distance to the plate edge This was actually removing the centroid of the hole from the plate. So let's turn, not touch it. So the weld thickness is also critical here. So I'm using a 5 by 8 inches thick weld. That is 10 by 16 or 5 by 8 is same. Flexure yielding capacity of the tension surface. So, for that, we can change the place plate thickness or the weld strength. We have already induced a heavy thick slab uh, weld. So, let's try editing other parameters. The anchor diameter is 2 inch thick. Selecting the material for anchor. So anchor is minimum working in 2 inches diameter. I have increased the embedment length as 18 inches. Anchors per row I have increased to 3. And similarly, I would like to reduce the edge distance of the bolts from the plate edge. Now it seems reasonably okay as the code suggests that at least two third of the diameter shall be from the edge distance. Two times two third of the diameter shall be the spacing. So I was trying to change the bolt types but the headed bolts work perfectly fine. Since it's a pre-cast pre or cast in place structure then it's okay. So we have passed all the checks. The green colored number shows that we have passed the checks of the code and the demand over capacity ratios. This is the stress diagram you can see. While for the pole design, you can check the part 1 of this video whose link is given in description.
Please subscribe to the channel for much more amazing content related to engineering coming soon. Thank you for watching.